I mean, as soon as that was over, New York Post, New York Times, uh, every, I mean, news people, everybody started calling immediately. And the coolest thing to me ever was the next morning, Bill After picked me up from the hotel and he was going to drive me around. He took pictures of me at the Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building and was driving me around uh, to do a, like a photo shoot for the magazine that was coming out next month. And as we're driving in the taxi cab down, down, I don't know what street it was in Manhattan, but I looked over and I saw Dangerfields, Rodney Dangerfields um, restaurant. And of course, like I said, it was about 1030 in the morning or whatever. And I said, oh my gosh, Dangerfields, I, I would love to go there. And it said, appearing tonight, at Red Fox. And, and, and Bill said, hey, hey, pull over, pull over. So he told the guy to pull over and he said, I'm going to run in and see. Uh, he said, sometimes, even though Red Fox is here, sometimes uh, uh, Rodney Dangerfield will be here as well. And he'll just like come out and introduce uh, the acts, you know. So he goes inside to see if Rodney's going to be there that night. And all of a sudden he comes out. And he's like, oh, my gosh, come on. You're not going to believe this. I said, what? What? He said, Rodney's in there right now. And he wants to see you so bad. Wow. I jump out. I go in. Here's Rodney Dangerfield in a bathrobe uh, and a hot looking girl beside him. 1030 in the morning. He's in a bathrobe sitting at his bar. And I come walking in. And he's, he's, like, he's in a bathrobe at his bar. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to say anything. With, about a, with, a, a, with a hot looking, <laughs> with a hot -looking chick sitting right beside him. And so, uh, I mean, it was like he was on stage. He goes, oh, my God. That was the greatest thing I've ever seen last night. Oh, my God. That was the greatest thing I've ever seen on television. And apparently, Andy's manager, George Shapiro, is also Rodney Dangerfield's manager. So he was he was watching that, and he was good friends with Andy. He had had Andy in this club before. But, yeah, he was he was just all over that. He said that was the greatest thing he had ever seen on television ever. <laughs>